so I'm super excited to bring you today's newest video. It is going to be the Blend Bunny Grunge and Sugar Palette. This literally came so fast. I just ordered this. It launched, of course, the 30th, if you don't know. And it is the 3rd of July, like, as I'm filming this. So, like, wow, literally three days. I think it came in. But let's stop jammering. Let's rip this puppy open. It came as normal. Came super bubble wrapped. I love that. Ooh. So it's very, like, it's textured, the outer packaging, super, super nice. It just says 24 shades for the 90s sweetheart. So I am super excited. It does say on here, so I don't know if this is considered one of those, like, pigment palettes. It does say palette for eye and face. It does not necessarily say, like, eyeshadow palette. So I am assuming, yes, it does have some, like, different ingredients and such on the back of the palette. So the front of the palette itself, it still has that like look of the texture, but it doesn't feel as textured. But let's pop this sucker open. I am like, I'm so excited. Look at how beautiful that is. It's very beautiful. It has a lot of like, just really pretty shades. Let's go ahead and get in some swatches. I think I'm just gonna start from the top going around. So first up, we have Skater Girl. Then we have Sweetheart and Candy. Ooh, okay. That candy shade is getting me. I love that. Next up, we have Baby T, Payphone, and Ironic. I would definitely say these are just super, this top row is definitely very pastel, very pretty, simple shades. I feel like this palette actually be really good for like springtime. Moving down, we're gonna have Flannel complicated and baggy jeans. Next up, Detention Mixtape 1995. So I am really relieved. I've only watched one person's video because I want to make sure to be very like fresh with my own kind of thoughts and stuff. I watched Amy Loves Makeup video and 1995 for her was a bit of like a dud shade. But as you see for me, it is working perfectly fine. So I'm very happy that that was just kind of like a a one-off that does, I'm assuming, happen sometimes. So I am very happy that mine is okay. Next up we have Drew, Runaway, and Teen Spirit. Oops, sorry if I'm like overlapping these. I like can't see as I'm swatching them. So Drew, Runaway, and Teen Spirit. Next up we have Moody, Combat Boots, Garage Band. I'm loving these darker tones. I know they've done this in some of their other palettes to have some really like deep tones. I love that they're just like different. I just have to say the shimmers feel so nice. So grungy, jawbreaker, and don't speak. Those are, oh, very nice. Very pretty. I'm very excited. Like the shade Jawbreaker is a shade I don't feel like I would normally wear, but like it is definitely giving me like some flashbacks of like 90s makeup. I feel like this is a shade that like people would put all over their eyelid or like, I think it was like, I've been looking at Enspo pictures and it was very much just all over the place. Think like Paris Hilton with like the shimmery white eyeshadow. It's giving me that with like that purpley, it looks purple to me again. Colorblind, if you do not know, kind of. So yeah. Oh, this one feels, oh, that feels nice. It is interesting how the shimmers kind of feel a bit different. Each one, like the shade Butterfly, which I'm assuming is going to look so minty. Oh my god. Just feels very like thick. Prom Queen, and then Bubblegum. Oops, I did it again. I'm so sorry. I'll do kind of Prom Queen in the center. I hope that you can see. I think they all did layer, like they were all layering really well. I just noticed that there's just like a different texture. It's just very like thick with the shade Butterfly, but I really, I really love that. I'm so excited. So welcome to part two one of this video at least for the makeup which i'm going to be doing a little bit out of order of sugar and grunge i'm doing grunge first let's dive in let's just start off with what i'm currently wearing i did pencil thin brows on my face i'm wearing two different bases starting off i have the maybelline fit me matte 
Powerless all over. I touched up with e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. And then I did take some of the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation and just applied that all over my face. I do just have a little bit of the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream on my eyelids. Let me tap that out real quick. I'm sorry, I'm using this mirror. I know it's by an evil person. I cannot find my other mirror right now, so... Sorry, judge me if you want to. So the main beauty that we'll be using for today's look to get that really nice grungy feel is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and the shade Black Bean. What I do like about this product is it's not super long lasting and it almost seems to replicate some of the pencils back then. I'm just going to take it up into my upper lash line. Now that we look all hot and crazy, we definitely got some hand eyes going on. I'm just taking this small-ish little fluffy brush. I'm going to start under the eye and just start buffing that out. Then I'm just going to do the same thing on the top. And then I am extending the bottom lash line out a little bit. Next, I'm just going to take another small kind of little jelly brush, dipping into our palette, and I'm going to be dipping into the shade Garage Band, which is like a super dark green. I'm going to start packing that onto the eyelid. I'm going to go ahead and take the medium dome brush, and I'm going to dip into the shade 1995. And I'm just going to start tapping around the edges of that darker green just to help it blend out. Next, I'm just going in with a big fluffy brush. I'm just going to start softening those edges and pulling very light pressure. I am just going to take the littlest bit of grungy on my finger. I'm just lightly tapping. I like that idea of having like a little sheen. Taking that same blending brush, kind of just scrubbing them to help it to blend in and really just have just a light sheen. If you need to, I earlier, I'm gonna go back in with that smaller brush and that garage band, that original darkest shade, just to keep that depth. I'm just gonna take a little pencil brush with the same shade to the darkest garage band and I'm gonna run it under the lash line. I'm going to use this slightly smaller, like extra small dome brush, I guess we would say, with the 1995 shade, that mid-tone green, and then just blend it out with our blending brush. What I did earlier is I did take a bit of the serge, just the black, so any black eyeshadow. I took that same pencil brush and I just added a little bit just on the outer corners of the eye where that outer white area is. I'm just gonna blend that in a little bit. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and go in and curl my lashes. So, lashes are curled. My lashes might look a little junky because I was wearing mascara this morning and my mascaras, these two, um, which I have talked about before, are both like super waterproof. I should have links down hopefully in the description for those if you are curious. They're very waterproof. So I'm gonna start with this smaller one on my lower lashes. And then going in with the second one. I love this one. The brush is just so ginormous. You have to be very careful to not touch your eyelid, but I love the separation it gives. So for blush, I have seen barely anything about blush. I only have what Kevin Aquan said like in their makeup book. I just noticed a lot that there was mentions of like terracotta blush used a lot. So I'm just going to kind of go with that a little bit. So I'm going to go in with the Scooby-Doo, the duo little blush palette. But I'm going to go in with the more peachier shade. 
moving on to lips, the shade that I'm going to put on is this brown shade by Black Moon Cosmetics. It's the shade Grim. I have like a special watch of it dried down here. If you know me, you know that I prefer a matte lip. Knowing that for the 90s, brown was the color. So I'm just gonna quickly line my lips with a black eyeliner. Do you see how small this nub is? I have been like stretching my eyeliners by like adding the extra cap to the back just to like have like an extra handle. I'm trying so hard to use up all of my makeup before having to repurchase more. So because the eyeliner is black, I'm just gonna go in with, this is like another like pencil type brush, but this one's just a bit more like dense. It just works a lot better as a lip brush. I'm just going to smooth out those inner edges. I'm just going to go in with our liquid lipstick. This is going to be the end of look number one. Welcome to our second look that we are doing with this palette. So this is going to be that more sugary look. I wanted to play around with an eyeshadow primer. So I picked this up recently. I saw like a recommended, I think it was recommending this eyeshadow primer. And I was like, you know what, why not? I really want to try some more stuff out and i don't usually use eyeshadow primer so i thought what the heck this is the milani eyeshadow primer my eyelids look a little red i was wearing some of this shadow earlier so it does look like it did stain a little bit i think this primer might have like a little bit of tint to it but it seems to be going on pretty sheer grabbing our palette i'm mainly going to be playing with this like pinkish row here. I'm just gonna start with the shade Skater Girl. I'm just using this like fluffy flat kind of brush and I'm just going to start applying that into the inner third of the eye. Also going to take it into the brow bone. But using the same brush I'm just going to dip into the shade Flannel. I'm going to apply that to the rest of the eye space. Taking just a fluffy, blendy brush, I'm just gonna start buffing out these edges. I'm having a bit of an issue, as you can see, kind of softening this out. So I'm just gonna grab a bit more of Skater Girl to help soften that transition. Next, I'm just going to run a bit more of that eyeshadow primer underneath my eyes. I'm just going to be grabbing a pencil brush and dipping in with our deepening shade Drew. I'm going to go in just about a third on the bottom lash line. And then starting to wing it out just a little bit, I'm going to start stamping on to this inner third of the eye. For the upper part of the lid, I'm actually just going to switch to this, I call it like my extra small little dome brush. Still going in with that shade Drew, but I feel like this will just help me to get the coloring as pigmented as I want it to be. So I just want to replicate real quick the colors from the top to the bottom. I'll just be using this fluffier kind of big brush for the inner corner, like shade that Skater Girl shade. I'll be taking this smaller pencil brush for the other two. So this shade, I believe it's flannel along like the middle part of the eye and then drew with that outer edge. So I'm just going to go in with another one of these like flat fluffy brushes just along the lower lash line to start buffing everything out. And I will be going along this upper edge as well just to help everything to soften. Any areas that feel like I blended out too far, I'm just going to take my sponge 
with just a little residual product that is on it to help that to soften any like over blending. I think I might take this same brush just to help these colors as well blend together. Yeah. Real quick, I'm just gonna go ahead and go back and just re-emphasize all of the colors so that I make sure I have like the correct pigmentation and everything that I'm looking for. Just to open up the eyes real quick, I'm going to take a bit of the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk along my waterline. Next, we're just going to jump into some of the shimmers. First shade I'm going to jump in with is the shade Don't Speak. I'm going to be taking another one of these, like, this is a lot smaller. It's very flat. Taking that Don't Speak shade, and I'm just going to run that just in the center under eye. If you want to use a glitter glue for this, you can. I don't really feel like it's necessary. These shimmers lasted really well today when I was at work. Going in with that same shade, I'm going to apply some to our eyelid. Just about that middle third. Wiping off that brush, and I'm going to dip in with the shade Bubblegum. I'm just gonna say right now, bubblegum is a standout shade for me. This shade is so pretty, so sparkly. I love the formula of these shimmers. At least for me, it's my kind of formula that I love, the sparkly shimmers. I'm gonna take some on the brow bone as well. So I quickly just applied some mascara the same way that I had shown you earlier in the video, so I just felt like skipping that step just to make it kind of easier and have the video not be lasting so, so long. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into blush, and I'm actually going to be using the same palette. So I am taking just a fluffy blush brush. I'm going to be dipping mainly into Skater Girl first. So I'm just going to do kind of an all over fluffy amount of this color kind of as like a base then just dipping in with the shade flannel with this same brush just a very little bit and i'm kind of doing it more focused on the outside edge i feel like for my face shape this tends to look better highlighter i will be going in with the same palette taking bubble gum I'm already like preemptively realizing that I'm gonna have pan on this shade way too fast. I'm gonna be sad. Seeing their shimmer formula though, in all honesty, is really making me want to get that Noctulescent palette, I think is what it's called. Moving on to lips, I am just taking the Cherry Red Lip. I think it's just called Cherry, sorry, from MAC. So for something super cool, I wanted to add a little bit of shimmer to the lips. So I'm actually going to show you something I did earlier today and it worked out phenomenally. So I'm just dipping in to the shade Don't Speak with my finger. And I'm just going to start tapping it onto the lips. Do you see that metallicness? It's so pretty. And what I really appreciate about this, it lasted all day throughout eating and stuff it's normal for lipstick to come off but what i mean is shimmer was there all day and i know this is not meant you know for the lips but i think it looks just so phenomenal i think it's like so fun i really really do like this but that is completed for this second look here we are with my final thoughts of this palette what can I say? I absolutely love this palette. I love the imagery. I love the creativity. I feel like they really went into this palette. Such a neat and different idea. Everything in this palette is super good. No bad shades at all. Is I think the shimmers, I don't know if they stepped up their game or something. These are like really good. They're very sparkly, which at least for myself, I absolutely love. 
And I am super excited, yeah, to play around this. This will definitely be something I will be playing around with, especially throughout the rest of the summer. I really, really like this. So that is the end of this video. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. Let me know down below your thoughts. Are you going to purchase this palette? Did you already purchase this palette? Did you like the looks I created? I don't know, whatever. Subscribe if you'd like to join me for some more fun videos and stuff like this. I would love a like, and I think that's it. <laughs> Hopefully, I will see you on my next set. Okay, bye.